Hey guys, it's Forsaken Reality here with the 23rd episode of the Remnant Tutorial Series. In this episode, we're going to be continuing where we left off, where last episode we fixed some replication issues with our equipping our weapon on spawn, and now we're going to deal with our animation that we created last time for our, uh, for our switching weapons. We created this uh, switch pose. There's one thing I forgot in this was that we want to make it slightly different from our idle pose from our rifle so it'll make a movement even then. So without further ado we'll get into that. So you want to open up your switch weapon pose and a simple way to do that is just want to pause the animation make sure you drag this back to zero and we will make sure I'm just going to click the world space like that. Bring it down three. Out two. Key and apply. And I'm also going to bring that one down and negative two like that. Key and apply. Doesn't even look perfect because it's just going to switch quickly between this animation. So now we have this pose, which is slightly different from our normal pose. And you'll see that later on once we actually set up our switching, how that will look. And I believe it should be taken, our montage should have taken into those keys. And if not, we'll just, all you need to do is quickly recreate the montage, which is simple. Now that we have that done, We will open up our master character. This is what we did last time. So now we want to go to our replication graph. And in our replication graph, we need to create a couple new variables. One being a server reference to our equipped weapon weapon so we want to create a custom event server set equipped weapon set that's reliable now we'll just get our equipped weapon here or we'll set our equipped weapon sorry Plug that in like that, so it's saying the reference to the server. Oops, what happened? On that server. Get rid of this bubble. And uh, we're going to need two more. We're attaching and playing a montage, so server attach component to a component, component to server. Multicast attach component to component. We'll get component to component. We'll just have this base one like this. Plug our target in, parent, socket. All this good stuff. Make sure the events are reliable. Because attach component to component. And then we'll skip the first target that's referencing yourself for where it's playing. And then we'll plug this all in. Now we have our server attached component to component. And 
This is going to be used for when we switch our weapons. And another custom event. Server play montage. That will run on server, be reliable. And our final custom event. Multicast play montage. And we want the play montage. So we get our skeletal reference. And we'll plug this in like so. Plug all of these. Multicast and reliable. So now we have our server event for playing montage. Once we finish plugging these in, skip the target to self. Have our replicated montage event. And now we want to go to our input graph. I think that's what we'll do next. Yep. Just gonna move this camera toggle down. And I'm actually gonna create this a function or switch weapon. do it the way I had it as an event. So basically we want to, before we switch our weapon, we want to check if our prime, we want to get our equipped weapon and our primary weapon. We want to check if our equipped weapon is equal to our primary. That'll let us know if we have our primary equipped and if we should switch to our secondary, and if not, we'll switch to our primary. If it is equipped, we want to server attach component to component. And we're going to get our primary weapon. Make some room here. And we're going to get our weapon mesh. That's going to be our target, not the self target. And our parent is going to be just our mesh, which is where we're attaching it to our character mesh. And the socket will be weapon data. Break weapon data, get your sockets and break that. Collapse that back up and organize it. And we're gonna be attaching our weapon, if our primary weapon is equipped, then we're gonna be attaching our primary weapon to our back socket. So it'll be unequipping it. And then we will drag out again, or actually I'm just going to copy all this. Control, control C, control V to copy and paste it. And we're going to replace that with our secondary and we're going to put our secondary in our weapon socket. So now we have our secondary attaching. And we also need to set our Put weapon on the server, so set 
equipped weapon and we have our server set equipped weapon and our equipped weapon is now going to be our secondary attaching we can switch one way but now we need to be able to switch back so if our primary is not equipped which means we're going to be doing everything that's up here but backwards basically so you can copy all that control v and from here we're just going to get our secondary and attach it to our waist because our secondary attaches to our hip and our primary we will attach back to our weapon socket and for our reference for our equipped weapon we will want to redo that to from our secondary to our primary same equipped weapon reference to the primary on the server compile and save Get rid of some of these because they're getting in my way. So now we can go back to our input graph. And we create an input action for next weapon here. So we'll just go next weapon. And we're not going to call the switch weapon function. We're actually going to go to pressed server montage play montage we're going to play an animation montage we're going to use notify us to switch our weapons so our skeleton is going to be our character mesh our montage to play which will be our currently equipped weapons uh equip montage which we have set in our weapon data break this get our animation data and break that and right here we have our equipped I'm actually going to go to my weapon animations right now and if you don't have that added you can add the animation montage here I'm just going to go I'm going to rename that switch weapon because that's what it's going to be doing and we can stack that up like so organize it a little bit And if you notice, our play rate is also zero, so we'll want a play rate of one. And I'm going to put this in our weapon inputs because it's switching our weapon, so it's a weapon input. There we go. So now we have this playing, but we don't have this event running, which actually switches our weapon. So the way we're going to do that, let's save all. Um, oh yeah, we're going to go into our animations, weapon anim or character animations, rifle animations, and the montage we kept for switch weapon. And we're going to right click add a notify and do notify and then notify is just going to be switch weapon and it does matter where you put this because it'll make the animation more smooth and it's not too precise but like somewhere around here will make will be when the animation 
we'll want you'll want it switching and that's about it for that so between the eighth and ninth frame if you set up 16 frames like i have 15 and then 16 is hidden um now that we have that done we actually want to go to our animation montage or blueprint because we don't have we need a default slot set to be able to play montages so you just want to search default and get your slot default simply plug that in and that will allow you to play montages make sure root, root motion is from montages only right now um and also in our master animation we created this weapon switch weapon i want to go to our we're actually going to create a new graph called notify graph because we're going to have a lot of notifies i'm assuming over time we've got a capital g and you'll just right click and search switch weapon which is the name of our notify and it'll just allow us to get it from here and when this notify plays we want to get our character reference and we want to run this switch weapon So now when it runs, it'll run into here, we'll check our primary, we'll attach things to the sockets correctly. And it's going to test it out. And it doesn't work. So let's see what we're missing next. Now, let's start with playing the montage. Oh yeah, we actually need to set our montages. So you want to go to your blueprints, data, data tables, weapon list. And in here, you have your animation data. And you want to go on your switch weapon. Just put that in for, for all your weapons, your pistol and your rifle. And you can see it switches between the animations, but the only reason is we don't have any pistol animations set up. So I'm just going to, in the next episode, I'm going to set up our pistol animation blend spaces and stuff. But we have a few that we can use for just to get a basic idea of how it's slightly going to look. We're going to use, I'm going to create a default pose for the pistol similar to the rifle, for example. So you'll have your pistol that goes down and your pistol that aims in. For now we have this, so we're aimed in, and we switch to our pistol, and we switch to our rifle, and you can see how it's a nice screeching for the chest, which is how it should be in Remnant, close to how it is, and we have it not equipped as a slight movement to the hand there when we're switching. Um, that's going to be everything for this episode. Just double checking my notes. Yep. So that's really everything for this episode. If you found this video helpful and want to, want to see more, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button so you don't miss out on any tutorial uploads. If you have any qu questions, suggestions, or comments, feel free to leave those in the comment section below or join my Discord server using the link in the description. Thanks, and I'll see you all in the next episode.